um, from Taiwan. I'm born in Taipei, and my name is Mongju Li, or uh, I wish you can call me Albert. That would be more easier for you and for me too. <laughs> yes. And I was born in 1996 in Taipei, the capital city of Taiwan. What caused me to start with figure skating? Uh, my dad always wanted me to exercise when I was small. And then there's a lot of park in Taiwan, like a small park. So there's a lot of roller skating in Taiwan in the park. So that's why my first time to start is actually roller skating. I skated roller skating for like, I think roughly four or five years. Then the only and the first rink in ice, ice rink in Taiwan has been built. Then uh, my coach, my roller skating coach, took me on ice. I really, really like the figure skating on ice. So I decided to quit roller skating and went to figure skating. That's it. And when I was in junior high school, I decided to went more, uh, be more professional, be like an athlete more than yes. Then how how to go how to go? And here I am. <laughs> My schedule basically will be I wake up at 6 or 6.30, something like that. Then I wake up, take a shower, pack everything, then depends on the schedule every day. But sometimes I go, go skating in the morning, then I skate a little bit for like two hours-ish, then I come here to study, for children, come to children and study. Then after that, I'll go back home, do some homework and do some like muscle relaxing or take care of my muscle because I have some injury before which is not really good still affect me now I need to take care of them then do I will do some not researching like look at some video the skater what I like the, their skating video then do more homework then sleep like at 9 or 10 then next day basically is the same I will really suggest them to come to here because before I come to George, uh, before I come to Georgian, I was studying in a university in Taiwan, and which is quite tired actually, because and I think in Taiwan's their education environment they always push really hard, they give you a lot of pressure, they want you to do a lot of things, they give you orders like you are like a robot or a machine, they just put put order and you need to do it. You produce well, you get better score. You don't produce well, you fail the course. And I found really different is in Canada, they will give you as a group or give you some space to let yourself so to how to say that to give your skills out to make you to give your opinions out. You're not like a machine robot. You're more like a human now. You can actually speak or discuss and. You can discuss with the professor. You can discuss with your, uh, with your classmate. Even you don't agree, the professor that is fine. But this kind of stuff was will never happen in Taiwan or in Taiwan's universities. So I really suggest if I have friends they want to come, I would really really suggest them to come to here to study because it's a really free level, free your mind. I would say so. It's free your mind.